hello friend welcome to plastic product design series so in this series so we have completed the introduction to plastics uh, type of plastics material so almost uh, 15 video we have uploaded onto the uh, youtube channel and uh, now uh, we will discuss the plastic manufacturing process design guideline for uh, plastic manufacturing and the common defects in the plastic uh, molding process so these three sections we will we'll cover parallelly and we will upload the number of videos which will completely cover these three sections so in detail we will discuss these three sections okay so stay tuned and uh, watch the complete series from the start so like uh, in the section 3 and section 4 uh, so we have the different manufacturing process and the design guidelines and related terms also we will cover uh, uh, throughout this section so like uh, uh, we have the uh, different manufacturing process in the uh, plastic product design like injection molding blow molding rotational molding extrusion thermo farming compression molding and additive manufacturing so uh, in this video actually we will understand the injection molding process but uh, going forward we will cover all these uh, manufacturing process so uh, coming to the injection molding process so uh, the uh, most important things uh, we need to cover like uh, uh, we need to understand the working principle of the injection molding machine type of the injection molding machines the common defects generally occur in the injection molding machine and the design guidelines for the injection molding machine to design the part for the injection molding machine okay so these are the general points that we need to understand so uh, there are other points also uh, uh, we will cover uh, in this injection molding machine so now we will understand uh, the working principle of the injection molding machine and going forward we will cover the other uh, topics related to injection molding machine so why we are using the injection molding machine because this injection molding machine uh, is used for simple and the complex part okay complex to complex part uh, also we can manufacture with the plastic materials using the injection molding process okay so this process is actually widely used uh, to manufacture the plastic part so uh, so this injection molding it is uh, automated uh, and because of the automated automatic system in the injection molding so there is a fast production and it is feasible for a uh, variety of material like for thermoplastic and thermoset plastics so you can see the different uh, images of the product plastic products that we can manufacture so these are the some example of images but complex to complex plastics for like for the automobile for the uh, different aerospace for the home appliances we have the different different types of product that we can manufacture with the injection molding process and if you see uh, uh, surrounding uh, uh, plastic components so you may find the number of injection molding uh, products yeah so now let understand the working principle of injection molding machine so here you can see this is the injection molding machines and it is divided into three sections like uh, injection unit mold uh, unit clamping unit okay and one more unit is there that is the controlled unit okay so this process actually start with the clamping injection cooling and the ejection of material okay and uh, i'll go through the next slide so you can understand completely so this is the injection unit mold unit and the clamping unit and one more unit is a controlled unit where we have the control and some sensors so that we can uh, analyze the data we can control the complete machine okay and this one is the injection molding machine you can see here so in the cross uh, if you see the cross section of this machine and you can find here the injection unit so this injection unit work, work like a, our injection so here we are using the plastic materials in the granular form 
so we uh, we here in the hooper we are passing this the material granular form of plastics into the chamber and with the help of this reciprocating screw so this injection molding contain the reciprocating screw hooper heater and the cylinder and here there, uh, there is an a uh, nozzle here you can see here this one is a nozzle so here for, we are passing the granular form of the plastics into the this chamber and with the help of reciprocating screw it will compress and melt the plastics material so it will completely melt the plastics material and it will inject it will inject into the mold so in the mold unit there are two section one is a fixed mode and second is the movable mode so here between these two molds so if we close that one or if we assemble means uh, uh, completely uh, come together these two molds so there is an inside cavity it will remain that is our final product so this injection unit uh, the material is, it will be injected into the uh, empty cavity of these two mold so and it will fill this empty uh, uh, empty space and our product is uh, uh, forming uh, from this empty space so this is the process so here uh, for the mold uh, uh, moving so this mold is a movable so for that there is a mechanism like a cl uh, clamping unit so where we have the uh, different uh, tie bars uh, clamping cylinders are there and some mechanism to uh, uh, uh slides this mold okay so there is a clamping units and one more unit is the control unit where we have the uh, control panel you can see here it will display the current scenario like a uh, number of parts are produced uh, injection pressure temperatures cooling lines are running or not like that these are the display okay you can say the controllers are there sensors are there and some safety systems comes under the controlled unit so here you can see uh, the very important uh, uh, components in the injection molding like a reciprocating screw so this reciprocating screw look like this one and it will compress and melt the material okay and after that uh, melting so it will uh, also helps in metering the material so metering it means that right quantity of material it will inject into the mold sorry so it will right quantity of material it will inject into the mold so we don't want the uh, uh, shortage of material or the extra material that should be uh, that will be in injected into the mold so right quantity of material we need to inject into the mold cavity so there are uh, four sections okay so like uh, feed sections where we are feeding the material then it will be compre compression zone uh, in the screw like compression zone here the material is compressed and uh, melted and the metering zone where we are uh, right quantity of material it will pass from this one so it will pass from here and uh, in the cylinder uh, like a uh, injection uh, cylinder here uh, so here in right quantity of material here it will become and it will compress that complete so during the compression you can see during the compression so the thrust ring so it will be there will be no back uh, flow of the uh, molten material okay molten plastic material so it will be non retaining wall so then we have the right quantity of material here and this complete uh, space is uh, completely closed so this close and now we can the uh, uh, molten plastics we can inject into the mold cavity so uh, this is very important reciprocating screw and uh, one more important term generally we use in the injection molding is a cycle time so cycle time is very important so uh, we can understand the cycle times in a simple terms like uh, uh, for one part okay consider as a one part okay so for one part how much time we uh, we are taking okay so to pro to manufacture the one part how much time is required so that is a cycle time so it is if you see 
the cycle time formula then it will be clamping time of the mold means clamping of two mold uh, and uh, injection time cooling time and the uh, ejection time so it is a combination of uh, all these four okay so generally for a small part and having a thin wall thickness so 5 to 10 seconds is required to produce the part okay and for a large part or having the thick wall so for that generally 30 seconds or uh, one minute is sufficient to produce the part because this process is completely automated and uh, gener in generally used for the uh, high production or the fast production okay so here uh, in this process we can use the thermoplastics and thermoset plastics also but the process will be different like uh, for a thermoplastics uh, we generally uh, molten material we are injecting into the mold but in a thermoset plastics we are uh, uh, injecting only material and heating heating the material uh, in the mold okay so mold they, there will be the heated mold and in that we are heating the thermoset material so uh, because of the heating the thermoset plastics will be rigid okay so uh, will be rigid and after that we are ejecting the material for the thermoset okay thermoset plastic but for thermoplastic thermoplastic generally we are injecting the material uh, injecting the molten material into the mold and we are allowing uh, to cool the material uh, and uh, then we are ejecting after the cooling so here this graph you can see there is a cavity pressure on the y axis and the, on the x axis there is a time so how much time it is required to for the complete cycle so the cycle start with the, like a closing of two mold okay so the mold will clamp together and after that we are injecting the material at a high pressure so injecting the material at a high pressure it is gradually increasing the pressure so at this and some uh, small relief is there release uh, means uh, relief in the pressure and we will hold the complete material because we have uh, the cavity is filled okay the cavity is filled so now we need to hold the pressure so we need to hold the pressure uh, and after that we are releasing the pressure like uh, here we can understand so after injecting the material so we need to hold at that temperature so that the molten material will not come back into the cylinder okay so for uh, few seconds we need to hold at that temperature and once once the uh, solidification started so, uh, and the gate freeze of condition will come so gate freeze of condition is the condition uh, uh, where we have the gate uh, the gate material uh, is uh, solidified and uh, there will be no chances of uh, uh, flow of material into the uh, cylinder barrel or we can't miss uh, 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 we can't inject the further material into the mold cavity so this condition is the gate freeze up conditions where uh, the molten material at the gate is solidified and there will be no extra material we are pushing now okay so after that we are uh, we are releasing the pressure and we are taking the uh, uh, reciprocating screw back and allowing the uh, molten material uh, into the mold we are allowing the cooling okay so now complete mold is closed till end so once the cooling is complete we are releasing this mold so here you can see mold close time so from the uh, so this one is a complete mold close time so and we are allowing the cooling here so once the material is cool so we are ejecting the part okay so here most of the times uh, uh, means uh, uh, cooling will take the much time okay and this uh, part ejection filling uh, so it won't take too much time because this is completely automated we only uh, need to allow the cooling so here in this graph you can see so uh, we required the cooling time here uh, almost 50 to 75 percent uh, we required the 
cooling times in the cycle time so to manufacture the one part so cooling time will take the uh, complete i mean 75 percent of the time okay in the cycle time so here you can see the cooling will start from here so once we have filled the complete material so gradually the cooling is started gradually the cooling will start from after the filling and pack and hold condition also the cooling will be started from here also so we are pack and hold conditions where we are holding at that pressure and so it will be once the complete cooling is completed or uh, part is completely solidified we will open the mold and eject the part so here you can see the different uh, means uh, mold here so the mold is generally of uh, steel aluminium and the hardened tool steel depending upon the application uh, part geometry or the part uh, accuracy you required or the surface finish you required so uh, we have the steel aluminium and hardened tool steel okay so these two uh, this mold contain the uh, uh, core and cavity okay and and uh, cooling lines vent and ejector pin so ejector pin is to eject the part from the mold and uh, vents are uh, the small hole generally uh, we have we we will add in the mold to release the heat from the mold and uh, cooling lines are there there are the uh, uh, water medium flowing into this cooling line to cool the part okay and uh, some uh, sometimes the lifting hooks are also there on the mold to lift the complete mold because uh, sometimes it will be uh, uh, a big big mold so at that time for lifting purpose we add the eye lift here and mold alignment uh, provisions are also there so there will be uh, the extra here you can see uh, the pins are there on the one mold and on another mold there will be the hole so for this one uh, it will be for alignment purpose and so it will be very it is very important actually to align the complete two mold because uh, it will uh, the part will be manufactured correctly and there will be no defect or there will be no mismatch in the core and the cavity okay so for that purpose mold alignment provision we required and generally it is available on the all the mold okay so so friend i hope you understood the complete uh, injection molding process or injection molding machines okay so going forward we will upload the and we are we are we will cover the uh, more topic on the injection molding machine okay so stay tuned stay connected and uh, uh, watch the complete pl plastic product design from the start i will suggest so i hope you like this video so if you like so like the video and share with your friend and if you are new here subscribe the channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video